What's going on everybody? My name is Oscos. This is my first video on this new channel. So it's going to be a little bit more introductory at first and then it's, we're going to end up getting into uh, the actual video. Um, I've had other channels. I still have other channels, but I decided to make this one because uh, the, <clears throat> the content is actually something that I, uh, I really enjoy and that I think being able to share it can help other people. Um, not only find possibly things they're looking for, but even maybe better their life. By that, I mean vaping. Um, I've been vaping for probably a year and a half now, and, um, you know, it's really helped me. It's something I've gotten into. I've gotten into more of the hobby side of things, and um, so I figured I'd share this with you guys. Um, <clears throat> first things first, this is going to be a double review. I don't know if this would be the normal. I'll probably do one because, you know, you normally don't vape two juices at a time. But that's could be a thing. Um, so the reason I'm doing two is because I vaped one. I was going to review it, but I just really didn't get around to it. And then I finished it before I could actually do a review on it. So I'm going to do that one off memory. I have the other one here. And uh, so, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first juice, as I said, I don't have firsthand, but I've vaped it long enough to give you guys a good uh, personal representation of it. It is Angel's Breath uh, by Third Degree and Faceless. So this uh, is a little nice little zoom in. I'm going to find a better way to do this, possibly take video or picture beforehand, but this is right off the cuff, brand new video, maybe like this for a while. Um, it is a key lime pie flavor. Um, it was a 50-50 PG VG blend, I think at, yes, yeah, six, Nick. And I really liked it, and that's why I went through the entire bottle and didn't even get around to the review. It was very sweet, and definitely because it's a 50-50, it had a very nice flavor. What I've been vaping on recently has been a Foo Hatton with a Mutation X V1. Uh, so some people may say that I might not even got as much flavor as I could because the mutation, you know, sometimes can mute a flavor here or there uh, just because there's so much airflow. Um, I I'll pretty much always do it straight, open airflow. Don't really turn that at all. I enjoy the clouds as well. So it was very sweet on the inhale, and then it was I got more of the lime on the exhale which is really nice even like the aroma if you know I exhaled through my nose or something you know it was really nice I really liked it that's I, I'm not gonna really rate them from 1 to 10 I'm just gonna give a thumbs up or a thumbs down I think that makes it a whole lot better but I recommend it yes uh, it was a very good vape I, I did it all day long from the time I got up to the time I went to bed it was what I was vaping on um, but that's, that's that juice. That's really all I can have to say. These will probably be a little bit, juice reviews will be a bit shorter if I ever get around to mods, which I'll probably throw my review of this in here right at the end. Um, because I've been answering some questions about it over on the ECR subreddit. But the juice I'm vaping today is Thoth from Crescent City Clouds from New Orleans. If I pronounce that right, not yet getting the focus. There you go. Um, as I said, it's at six milligram and it's at max VG. There's still a lot of flavor. Um, it's supposed to be a savory nut bread with hints of vanilla and chocolate. And I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really tasted the chocolate, maybe a little vanilla. Yeah, the nut bread, you definitely feel in the back of your mouth. Um, vanilla, a little bit on the exhale. I think if I'm really looking for it, you can kind of feel the chocolate in the front of your mouth, but I'm not, I can't say I really taste it. Again, that could be because I'm wide open. I'm not really going to tune it down because I'm going straight up. Um, 
it's good. It it definitely has a um a I don't want to say a cringiness to it, but that's the only real word I can think of right now. It's like it has a nice stingy throat hit, which I really enjoy. You know, I did this one a little bit before I did the Angel's Breath, just because it was the first one out of the box. I have a huge box here <coughs> to review. A bunch of things. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them all, but again, uh, this is my opinion. You don't have to take my opinion as fact. Hell, who am I for you to do that with? I'm just giving you what, guys, what I think. Um, you know, I like the juice. If you're into desserty or, you know, nut breads, something like that, I think you'd really enjoy it. It's good. I do recommend it. Um, if you're more of a fruity person, like if, if you're more in like the fruity vapes or something like that, you may, you may not be the biggest fan, but that's my fair warning. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll... I can throw in my uh, review of the Foo Hatton with the Mutation X. Um, when I first started, my uh, buddy, he sent me, uh, just to get me started, he sent me a Sentinel clone and a Helios. I'm pretty sure that was a clone as well. Um, and, you know, it did, it did the job for the first little while. And I went to a cloud comp. Obviously, I didn't win that with that. But, you know, I didn't do halfway. You know, I did halfway decent in my own opinion. Um, obviously nothing compared to this. It, it really, th this entire setup is, you know, the copper mod. It hits hard. Mutation X has a lot of airflow, so you're able to get the clouds. And, you know, the flavor's nice on it too. I'm not, I'm getting more flavor out of this than I did with the Helios. And I've tried the Helios on here. Still get a little bit more flavor. Um, I could be rambling. I usually run a, let's see if I can focus, uh, 0.2 ohm coils. I'm using just regular organic cotton, not Japanese because I don't have enough of that right now. Um, that's, I believe, 22 gauge, 7 wraps. You know, it gets, it gets the job done for both flavor and vapor. I really enjoy it. It's a very cheap setup, so if you're looking to get into mechs and RDAs, you know, this is a good setup to start with. I think the mutation cost me 28 with shipping, and I got the, no, sorry, the Foo Hatton cost me about 28 with shipping. Mutation I got for about 35 at my local shop. Um, I'll give a shout out to them uh, right here at the end, uh, Evolution E-Cigarettes. They have a bunch of different stores from... Wappingers Falls, Syracuse, uh, Oneana, New York. All, most of them, I think, are in New York. Um, but they have some killer juice. Um, there's a strawberry custard that I really like that I'll review probably in my next video. Um, I don't want to bog this up with too much. But the overall for this review, Mutation, Foo Hatton, it's a great combo. The Thoth, I recommend it. But... I recommend the Angel's Breath from uh, Third Degree a little bit more. I think more people will be able to enjoy that overall. So, till next time, guys.